Hi everyone, this is Ben Netter. Welcome back. So I've been thinking a lot about all the kind of mishmash of yarn that I have, um, especially from like the eBay haul that I got a while ago. Uh, if you guys remember, it's a lot of kind of just random yarn, um, not of a full skin. So I was just kind of wondering what to do with it. Um, now I'm not one for small projects. In case you guys haven't noticed by now, I love my big blankets and shawls and kind of larger projects. Um, and that's why I usually buy a lot of one yarn so I can do a big project. Um, but I was just kind of thinking um, to kind of best of both worlds is to go in and do kind of granny squares. I know crocheting has a lot of granny squares to make into blankets. I wanted to do something like that, but with knitting. Um, so it was just kind of looking around, getting ideas for squares to make, and I came across uh, how to learn to knit with 50 squares. Now, um, looking one, obviously I wanted to get it because of the 50 squares, so I wanted lots of ideas. Um, but looking at this book more and more, I kind of think this is a great book for beginning knitters too, because it teaches you how to knit, but also what uh, it teaches, it shows a lot of stuff, other stuff too. Not only um, kind of it goes into yarn weight, um, materials, uh, kind of different type of yarn, yarn fibers, gauging all that kind of stuff, but a kind of cool idea is that you can actually go through, do one square of each and do all 50 and do make a blanket out of this once you're done with it. Um, so that way you kind of have a big uh, roadmap of what you've done and a big project in case you don't want 50 different squares like for dishcloths or something like of the like you can have this nice big blanket of all the work and your progress which i thought it was a kind of cool idea um but also even better is that they do go into how to uh kind of into finishing in terms of blocking but also how to assemble everything so it kind of is a one-stop shop so that way um you can kind of mix and match do what you like and it shows you how to do um, take these squares and make it into a bigger project, which I kind of love. So that way, um, especially for bringing knitters, um, if they want to do a little bit of each and learn a lot, they can, but also they can make it into a bigger project um, if they so choose, uh, which I thought was pretty cool and a kind of nifty idea. Even though I'm not really learning how to knit, it gives me tons of ideas of how to take a lot of random yarn that I have um, and make it into a bigger project in case I want, don't want to do a lot of dishcloths or hats or nothing wrong with that, but that's, you know, not my style, let's just say. Um, I do like my blankets, so I thought it was very cool, and you guys should definitely check this out um, if you know any beginning knitters, but also um, if you just feel like doing, like, a lot of squares if you have a lot of random yarn. But all the descri um, description... Uh, details in the description below, and I'll see you next week. Bye.